Hello everybody, it's Natalie back at Illustrious Shadow Plans. Thank you for joining me again. I'm back with another plan with me. This time we are going to be planning the first full week of December, which is the 4th of December to the 10th of December. So without further ado, we're just going to jump right in. Before I do that, I'm just going to apologise if the lighting is a little bit weird. I'm filming this at half past five on a Sunday afternoon. In England, the sun comes down really quickly in the winter. So I've put my ring light on, I've put my main light on, and my computer has got a light on it as well. So hopefully the shadows won't be too bad. It is going to look a little bit harsh, I'm afraid. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to film this earlier today. But I'm trying a different angle with the camera now as well. And hopefully this is a clearer angle for you that looks a little bit better. So let's jump straight in. So first of all, I was just going to show you how last week's spread went. All filled in. This is how it turned out. That nice, yeah. As you can see, I wasn't very successful with my no spends. And in fact, I didn't manage to do that at all. And I wasn't very successful with my five year diary either, which is a bit of a shame. I'm going to be catching up on that this evening. So I should be able to tick that off later once I've done this plan with me. And then down here, I've managed to fill most things in. So I'm quite pleased with how that's gone. It looks functionally like it worked as a layout for me. So I'm quite pleased that we can try this kind of layout again and get good results from it. It's just going to be the decoration that's going to change. And I think this week we might introduce something that's a little bit more Christmassy and seasonal. So here's the first week of December. I haven't got anything written in this week, even though I do have quite a few plans for this week. So I thought this is a really nice one. It's completely blank pages and I haven't had to tip X anything out, which is good. So I've got a general idea of the colour scheme I want to go with. I think I want to do this two Tombows. So these are the kind of brown and green. So that's numbers 192 and 979. So let's show you in here how we're going. So 192 is this lovely sagey colour and N79 is this kind of grey brown and I think they'll look really nice together. I don't want to go too overboard with the colour and the decoration for this week again. I think that last week was a really nice example of how simple can work really well but I do want to get some decoration down before we do anything and I was looking through a box of old stickers that I had and I found some really nice stickers that I thought why haven't I used them in a while so they are kind of seasonal but they're not overly Christmassy kind of they're not in your face Christmas so I'll show you those now so this this is the box. <laughs> I've got quite a few of these kind of boxes where they've just got bits of ephemera and stickers in them. And they're just, excuse me, they're just a little bit random. So I've got lots of really weird and wonderful things in these, stick, in these boxes. So I've got these little dictionary series notes, which I don't really use in my weeks planner, but I do sometimes use in my commonplace planner. I'll show you that at some point. I've got these stickers which I designed myself in two different sizes and then some other ones and it's what's in this compartment underneath those stickers that I was thinking about so let's have a look I adore flower stickers like this by the way these kind of washi tape stickers they're my absolute favourite I love these so that's a hot contender. And this one I think looks quite nice. It's quite um, sagey, wintry. So we can take that one out too. That's got quite a lot of blue tones in it so I don't think we're going to use that one. Um, but then there's these over here and actually what I was looking at earlier when I went through this. Oh, I'll just pick those up. What I was looking at earlier when I went through this box, when I found it again, was 
these little bows. My only issue with these bows is that they are shiny and I'm not a big fan of the shiny stickers. I like the matte ones but we might be able to make something work there. We can probably fussy cut that so we cut down on the shine a little bit. And then there's just some more kind of ephemera bits in here, random stickers, if it's a kind of coloured card for backing, scrapbooking, that kind of stuff. It's quite a nice little box. Little box to kind of dive into. And because I keep forgetting that this box exists, because, you know, undiagnosed ADHD and object permanence aren't the best combination. Ooh, these ones are really pretty as well, I forgot about these ones. These, she says, she starts. So these are absolutely gorgeous. So you've got like strawberries, really lovely for summertime. A little fox, I love foxes, they're one of my favourite animals. Um, these, pretty much all these stickers came from, came from, pretty much all these stickers will have come from AliExpress, I think. That's lovely, that's really nice, I can go in the movie pile. Ooh, look at that one. It's very blue again though. I didn't really want to change the sage for a blue, but I might have to. Um, and then there's just these. These, I love these stickers. I bought these years ago. And in the pack, you got the black one and the gold one. So you have about 20 different designs in black and gold, and they're just gorgeous. They just sit on the page so really nice, so nicely. But I'm running, running very low on them now, so I don't use them very often. Um, these are all just kind of like winter one, um, kind of Alice in Wonderland tea bits here. I'm hoping you can see this and not completely off camera. <laughs> there are these lovely, this. it's all very blue toned these stickers. They're lovely but they're very blue toned. And then these are gorgeous kind of goldy ones. These are again, these are the kind of washy style stickers, which is nice. These are kind of maybe a little bit more what we're looking for. So these are a bit more browny, not earthy colours, but they're kind of tropical flowers. Oh, that's nice. It's like a nice little uh, acorn. It's nice, very autumnal. Toadstools, loads of toadstools, rose hips, pine cones. Lots of different things. I can't quite get you in the camera, can I? Um, again, some more deer, so there's some stags there. Sorry, that's upside down. I do apologise. Um, and then these are all just beautiful. These again, these will have come from somewhere like Ally Express. There we go. That's beautiful. These are lovely, but these are great though. If you've got a commonplace book that you like to doodle in, um, you know, you like to just put a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of pizzazz in the background of your pages, but you don't want like, in your face decoration. These are wonderful for that. So, I do think as well, last time, I wonder if there's a way we can fit something like that in, because there was, if you noticed on the last week's spread, there was kind of a big gap down in the bottom corner, so I'm wondering if we could maybe put something like that in. We'll see, we'll see. Put these all back. Right. Yeah, so these are just kind of square, square stickers in here. Nothing exciting in there. Okay. So, so this is what I've narrowed it down to. Put these on here, you can see them a bit more clearly. So those. Okay. Or Actually, these. And maybe something like this down in this corner. I don't know if that's going to be too fussy, but we'll think. I'm wondering, to be fair, if we went with something like that down there, or this, because this would go a little bit nicer with that bow. But then this is a real beautiful statement uh, sticker, isn't it? It's a real statement, that one. This one's nice as well. I think, I'm thinking maybe this up here 
this down here and then this somewhere somewhere else let me see if i can fussy cut this properly because if i can't fussy cut that properly then i'm not using it so i love a fussy cut i'm a big fussy cut fan so let's have a look i'll probably speed this up because you don't need to see me fussy cutting my watch is going off. It's probably, it's probably a little bit silly. You might be watching this thinking, oh, it's on the clear backing, why are you fussy cutting that? Just because it is a shiny sticker, it's not matte. And like I said, I just find that when you've got a shiny sticker, it looks really obvious when it's not really well cut around the edges and I find it, for me, it detracts from the look of the page and that is super fussy, I am aware of that. I'm very very aware that this is like a massive extra step that most people wouldn't even bother with but there we go. So I'm hoping to get this out and done, this layout, I mean, in kind of 15, 20 minutes max because, I mean, the last time, there you go, that looks alright, that looks quite nice actually. I'm thinking that might just, that could just go somewhere like that because I know Thursday, Friday aren't as busy for me, so. The only thing with this, and again, this is very fussy, and probably me being a bit of a perfectionist, is that I don't like that this is bending into the page. I'd rather it bent out of the page. And I don't think, I don't think any of them actually do. Now I could put that there and kind of bend it across the middle. I could, again, just cut a little bit of this excess down. These ones don't matter so much because these are matte, so you won't see a lot of the edges of these but it will just reduce a bit of bulk. So, and it'll make it a little bit easier to stick it down as well. So yeah, so we can put that there and that'll do nicely there. Okay. I'm not gonna stick the bow down yet because I'm not 100% certain where that's gonna go. This one, I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That is right on there. That looks lovely. I am going to just pop this up in the top corner. It's kind of rose hippie kind of thing. Which I think looks really sweet. I'm just going to angle that there. Lovely. And then actually, that could go on there, couldn't it? That might look quite sweet. I should put that over there. Don't take the backing off if you're not sure, Natalie. Come on, think about this. I tell you what, let's leave that for now. We'll put that up there for now. Let's draw the lines in that we want to draw and decide once we've got the lines down. So this week I'm going in with a slightly thicker pen. So this is a 0.5 uh, uni pin. So, um, and I'm just going to draw these lines. I'm going to do the double colour again though. But that is, it's a thick line now. But whew, that's not a great line. Colour wise, I'm going to give that a second to dry. Colour wise I think we'll go with the sage at the top of this. Okay, and then habits, tasks and things down here. I'm going to put habits at the bottom this time because I don't need as much room for habits, I don't think. How many habits have I got this week? <laughs> I want to add one more in as well. So two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to go seven habits, a line for the days of the week. That's eight habits and then ten. So we've got two hab two rows for the title so one two three four five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's the title there. And actually, this week I'm going to do the whole. Uh, I'm going a bit bolder this week. Whereas last week was very minimal and very kind of soft. This week we're going a little bit bigger, a little bit. So I've just grabbed the 0.3 micron and we're just going to put Jay's meals up here like we did last time. And this time, this week, I'm going to hopefully start giving him lunches as well. So we're just going to go B. L, D, all the way down the page. Okay, so that's all done. That's all marked in. Perfect. And then we can just in here, we can go habits. And I want to draw a line across the bottom of here. I might make this into a box actually. This is inspired by a plan with me I saw on YouTube. I'll be sneaking in that. Where it was kind of a bit stronger rather than, but it was still the kind of same elements, but it was a little bit more heavy lines, a little bit deeper with what they were doing. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Sunday, and then our habits are vitamins, move ring. So I'm trying to close my Apple move ring or do 10,000 steps, which would also close my Apple move ring, but I'm trying to close my Apple move ring every day in December. Uh, three litres water. No spend, skincare, Let's see if I can remember them all, five year diary, and then the one that I wanted to add is track my calories, because I'm doing a challenge with my gym where every day for the first two weeks in December we track our calories and see if we can um, keep on top of a calorie deficit to try and get a little bit fitter before Christmas rolls around and makes everything really difficult. <laughs> so, looking back at this page, for currently, I think I'm going to put this up in this corner up here. Um, wrong pen, so I want to go in the brown again. I want to do two. I really hope this angle's better. It took me a really long time to try and set this angle up as well. I had a minor fight with my tripod because I over tightened one of the screws. So my tripod is really old. My tripod is probably it's probably about twenty years old now, and I bought it when I bought my Canon three hundred and fifty D. I think I'm actually going to put tasks up here because it's a bigger space we could put it there and then we can put currently down here and i'm going to call it to do this this week again i am going to just go through and do my dots now i'm looking at the spread i'm thinking this does not look very autumnal or Christmassy, but it's fine so for currently we need one two Four, five, six, seven, eight. Take my ring away. We need eight boxes, and I want to leave one for there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start this here. Oh, I wanted to do that in brown. I wanted to do that in green. Mm. Oh, do I change it? Yeah. Happy little accidents. That's what this is. Happy, you can't really see, to be fair. I do like the Tombow markers for that because they are quite forgiving if you get them early enough. They do leave these lines, obviously, but so just write this in whilst we're waiting. 
watching, listening, reading. I'm hoping this reading one helps me to get back into reading. I'm not sure if I mentioned in the last video, but I um, used to read voraciously. I was a terror for reading to the point where my mum had to confiscate any kind of light source from my bedroom when I was a teenager because I would sit up under the covers reading until about 3am in the morning regardless of whether or not I had school the next day but after going to uni and discovering drinking and partying and all those wonderful fun things in my early 20s that has nothing to do with sitting in a dark room reading a book. I really dropped off of my reading habit and that's a real shame um, because I really used to love reading like it was I was a reader and I'm not so much anymore. I'm trying to get back into it I'm trying really hard to get back into it but it's it's taking a long time unfortunately. So this is what we've got so far. Basic layout before any of the serious pen. It's a little bit boring some might say but I quite like it. Again I'm just going to go in do this down the side. When I first started using the Hominichi Weeks I was adamant that I was going to use kits every week, that I was going to put in uh, stickers that go down this side but then as I've got further into them I just don't have time anymore and I just quite like just the highlighting of the days with the colour to fit with the theme. Now I'm thinking where is this going to go? I don't like it there that much. I don't think it's going to fit over here actually which is a bit of a shame. It is kind of transparent though, so if I put it like there and it covers the D and the B, it won't make too much of a difference. I'm going to put it on Thursday. I'm doing it, I'm putting it on Thursday. If I can get back in off. Actually, it's not as shiny. I'm just going to do that to get some stickiness off of it. It's not as shiny as it looks on the backing and it's mainly the backing that is shiny, which is what my point was. Okay, so that's down. Oh, not 100% certain I love that, but okay. So, plans for the week. So, hopefully that's okay, you can still see. So, Tuesday morning we are doing our mummy fit. Wednesday we are doing baby sensory. Not loving baby sensory at the moment. It's not my favourite class. Thursday, mummy fit. Gym. Friday. I think I'm doing something Friday but I cannot remember what it is at the moment. We're doing sing and sign, that's for sure. Sunday, I've got a spa day booked, very excited about, um, very excited about this. So I don't know how much you missed because my camera just automatically stopped but I was just saying I have put in that I'm going to Birmingham on Monday and I've got panto rehearsal, going to Mummy Fit Gym on Tuesday and Thursday, Baby Sensory on Wednesday, Sing and Sign on Friday and then I've got a spa day on Sunday which will be very nice and I think that's about it so I am just going to do what I did last week again and just underline I'm not going to go all the way across just going to separate these off I should hopefully be able to meet another friend at some point this week because I wasn't able to meet her last week, but I think it will depend on how her little boy is feeling. Unfortunately, he wasn't very well last week, which is why we couldn't meet up. 
pen's not doing too well either. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again soon and take care and have a lovely week. Okay, bye-bye.